It's all kicking off inside Manchester United again, and Eric Tenag really does not hold back. Eric Tenag has done an interview where he was asked about the Sancho situation, and he says quite a few things. But one of the main things he was asked is if Sancho will play for Manchester United again. And Eric Tenag basically said he does not know. This very much hints that things going on between Sancho and Tenog are very bad. Reports leaks came out suggesting they were bad. The fact that he was kicked out of the first team suggests they are bad. But Tenog says a few things in the interview like it's better for the squad. Is Sancho causing problems within the dressing room? Well, we're going to get into everything that Eric Tenog has said in his recent interview. Because I tell you what, he does not hold back. He's very brutally honest. Um, there is a few reports and rumours going around that wan is out of the squad. There's a few rumours that... Wan Bissaka's in trouble or Wan Bissaka's injured. Now, I don't think there's much confirmation to this rumours. It's coming out from IT accounts and not genuine sources, but it would be interesting to see if any news comes out later today after this video is released on Wan Bissaka. I would say keep an eye on that. It's just rumours that Wan Bissaka could be out or isn't in the squad ahead of the Brighton game, but again, those rumours have not been confirmed. And Now, I want to go right into the Jadon Sancho interview, right into what Tenog said, and then we will talk about it. So Tenog was asked if Jadon Sancho will play for United again, and Tenog said, I don't know, I'm sitting here. Tomorrow we have a big game, we are going into a new block of games, many games in condensed programme, I focus on that. Tenog basically saying, I don't know if Sancho's going to play again, I don't care. I'm focusing on the games, I'm focusing on winning, I'm focusing on other things. I don't know if Sancho's going to play again, I don't care. Tenog very brutal, and I think that for me means Sancho doesn't, Tenog doesn't care if Sancho plays again or not. If Sancho's going to disrespect Tenog, even though we've lost Anthony, even though we need a right winger, Tenog's going to stay firm. You disrespected me, you've got to apologise, you've got to be the bigger man if you want to play again. You know, you can just drop around till January and not kick a football till January and force yourself a move, or you can apologise, do the right thing, play again. And Tenog saying, I don't know if Sancho will play again, I'm going to focus on games. That says to me that Tenog's not all of a sudden going to go, you know what, Sancho, come back, you've learnt your lesson. Tenog's not going to be lenient. The board is backing Tenog on this. Sancho was removed from the first team squad. Sancho's removed from first team training. You know, Tenog basically is saying, I don't know if Sancho's going to play again, because that really depends on Sancho. Tenog was asked about a few things in the interview. He was asked about Sancho's statement. And he says, I don't really think about it. I don't talk about it because I have to win a game. And it's all about that. Tenog basically wants is basically trying to say, I'm not going to waste my breath on Sancho. I'm not going to think about it. I want to win games and more. What I like about Tenog is he doesn't want to get too much into the Sancho situation, but he knows there's going to be questions about it. He knows it's got to be addressed. And obviously, in his press conference earlier, he said a few things about mentalities and attitudes in the dressing room, which was very much um, hinted at Sancho. Now, Tenog was asked on the Sancho situation, and he says, I don't think um, this subject is important. I think what is important is I have to prepare my team. So that's what I've got to do. Again, he's saying, I don't care about Sancho. I want to focus on my team, focus on winning. And Sancho isn't a part of that right now. Um, he goes into a little bit more detail and he says, it's about the team and the club. I put energy into giving the best performance against Brighton. I prepare the best I can, put all my effort into the players available. He's not available. So in this moment, he's not important because he can't contribute. Again, this is Tenor basically saying, Sancho, he's not important to me right now. He can't contribute. He's not available. He's not available. I don't know if he's going to play again. I'm not going to put my time, focus or effort into Sancho. Tenog is basically saying he's done with Sancho. Tenog has to play everything down, he says, publicly. But I think the fact that he is saying publicly, essentially, he's done with Sancho, is not important, he's not in my plans, I don't know if he'll play again. The fact that he's saying that publicly, even saying little things like that, says to me, his relationship with Sancho is... Sancho has been kicked out of the squad. The club has put a statement on that. Murta and Arnold have had to intervene. The fact that Murta and Arnold have agreed to kick Sancho out of the squad, he's clearly causing problems. He put a statement out for a week. And, you know, the fact that Tenag is saying, I don't know if Sancho's going to play again, and I don't care about that, shows they've not made up. But also you could tell that Tenog is so done with Sancho. You could tell he's so done with the situation. And I think it's such a shame because... You know, Sancho's a £73 million player that came from Dortmund with bags and bags of potential. And he had a reputation at causing problems at Dortmund, being a bit lazy in training, turning up late. He had that reputation at England. He had that reputation at Man City. And Eric Tenog's not going to put up with it. And Eric Tenog disciplines him. And yes, maybe Sancho gets more discipline from Eric Tenog than other players. But I always think that Eric Tenog might be strict on Sancho because he knows there's such a good player in Sancho and he needs that kick up the arse more than other players. But Sancho can't like, take that criticism. And, you know, is now refusing to apologise to Tenog, even if Sancho doesn't mean it. I think the fact that he's refusing to apologise to Tenog, I think it says a lot. I think it says a lot, to be honest, about his character. And I think that's why Tenog 
is so angry with him. Ten Hag then said on this situation, I am always honest. You have to keep things inside. But when I'm asked the question, I will be honest. Ten Hag basically saying about why he spoke about Sancho being removed from the squad. He's saying, look, I didn't want to speak about Sancho, but I was asked the question. I'm going to be honest. Ten Hag was saying, I'm not going to lie about Sancho. I'm an honest manager. And that's what he did when Rashford was dropped and Garnacho was dropped as well. So I think, you know, that's what I like about Ten Hag is honesty, his brutal honesty. And I think, you know what? We're too soft on players these days. You know, Sarah Alex Ferguson wouldn't put up with this nonsense. And Ten Hag's not putting up with this nonsense. Ronaldo uh, disobeyed him. Ronaldo got removed. Doesn't matter who you are, how good you are. If you disrespect the manager, you're out of the squad. I think that's how it should be. Because if, you know, Sancho had disrespected Ten Hag like that and Sancho was back in training playing, other players know they could disrespect Ten Hag. All the players at Man United know now Ten Hag's in charge, look at Sancho, look at Ronaldo, which I think is the most important thing for him to gain the respect in the dressing room. Ten Hag basically said on Sancho here that um, Sancho's principles is what my decision is based on. So when he was asked about why Sancho is training with the first team, so not training with the first team, he said it's on Sancho's principles, which is him going on social media, complaining, refusing to apologise, still refusing to apologise about apologise or back down, saying Ten Hag is scapegoating him and not being interested to going to training on time or working hard. He says, you know, this decision on Sancho isn't about me and it's, and it's to be strict. No, he said this decision is in favour of the team. Yes, even when it could be to the team's detriment, everyone can make an opinion about that. He's essentially saying Sancho was dropped because of his principles, that Sancho's principles are a bad, bad influence on the side. Um, Sancho's dropped so it can be in favour of the team. He doesn't want Sancho in the dressing room, distracting the team, distracting the dressing room harmony, causing a problem, you know. That's what Eric Ten Hag is sort of saying on the whole situation. He said, but as I said, he's not available, so he can't contribute to our performance and our results. So I block it. I go and prepare the team to give the best performance. So again, Ten Hag sort of speaks about Sancho, essentially says it's better for the team if he's not involved because of his principles. It's not a good influence on the team. And then he basically says everyone can have their opinion, whether it's good or not to include him because we've lost Anthony. But he just is like no nonsense with this whole Sancho scenario. So as much as I like Jadon Sancho, it's very obvious his future at Manchester United is very uncertain. I think the fact that the manager said, I don't know if he's going to play again, says to me in this moment in time, Ten Hag probably thinks he isn't going to play again. Um, I think, you know, their relationship is very bad. And I'm with Ten Hag on this. I get that Sancho has probably been better than Anthony in pre-season and you could argue that Sancho deserves to play games over Anthony and maybe he was more lenient towards Anthony but that does not give Sancho the right to go on social media put out a statement call the manager a liar then refuse to make up with the manager it seems to be upsetting teammates at Manchester United it seems to be winding people up at Manchester United why can't you just make up with the manager and a whole I think this whole situation has kind of shown Sancho's character I was a big admirer of Sancho but the fact that he's basically called out Ten Hag on social media after all Ten Hag said was he wasn't reaching the standards in training. I don't think Ten Hag said anything that deep. I think the fact that he's called Ten Hag out on social media and is refusing to apologise and is willing to risk not playing again despite Anthony not being available and this could be a really good chance for Jadon Sancho to fight his way back into the team, put his head down, work hard. He doesn't seem interested. And I think if you're a player on £350,000 a week and you'd rather drop till January and get a move out of Man United then just make up with the manager, be the bigger person, work really hard and try and prove the manager wrong, then I don't want you at my club. The mentality should be right now in this scenario. Me and Ten Hag, we're in a bad position, but I've got an opportunity here. I've got an opportunity to turn my Man United career around. If I work really hard, I make up with Ten Hag. I show more than ever that I'm determined to get back into the squad. Anthony's not around. This could be my golden opportunity to get a run of games and turn things around. Sancho is not interested in that. He's not interested in that redemption arc. He's interested in just sulking, being childish, causing dressing room problems, putting statements out online, refusing to apologise to the manager, and he's now stuck training with the other 21s. For me, I don't want a, a player with Sancho's attitude in the squad. You're on £350,000 a week. The manager is in charge. Even if you don't like how the manager's treating you, you get on with it. He's in charge. He's your boss. The amount of people that don't like what their boss does, but they have to get on with it. They don't have a choice. You know, and we you have a choice. You have a choice to apologise to Ten Hag. You have you have a choice to make up with him. You have a choice to work hard and fight for your place like Wan Bissaka did. But instead, you are sulking. This childish attitude from Sancho is so disappointing. I wanted some fight from him. A player that Ten Hag disciplined because he was late for training continuously, and Ten Hag, you know, tried to get him to get go to training an hour early. 
a player that was dropped because he wasn't working hard enough in training and instead of using that as a kick up the arse like other players that have been dropped at Man United for disciplinary issues Jadon Sancho goes oh, I'm going to put a statement out against the manager he's scapegoating me he didn't think you were working hard enough in training so instead of saying he's scapegoating you work harder in training even if you think you were working hard in training work even harder clearly you're not because if Southgate is saying that uh, Sancho didn't work hard enough in training Dortmund are and Man City are I don't think Ten Hag's the one lying when four different clubs have said this about Sancho and I was I like Sancho, but I think the fact that he's refusing to apologise after this whole situation says to me, there's definitely an attitude problem there. There's definitely a childish attitude problem there. And I thought maybe the leaks coming out that he was had a bad attitude in training and was causing problems. I thought, OK, maybe it's people ganging up on Sancho. Maybe it's people being unfair on Sancho. But, you know, no matter how you felt about the Sancho situation, even if you backed Sancho on this originally, I think the fact that he won't apologise to Eric Tenag is, is appalling behaviour. And he's literally willing to not care about his Man United future. He put in a statement he'll do everything for Man United. If that was true, he would make up with Ten Hag. He would swallow his pride, make up with Ten Hag, stop being stubborn and work hard. He doesn't seem interested in working hard and making up with the manager and being a bigger person. He seems interested in sulking and stropping like a child. And Eric Ten Hag's been right through him. Eric Ten Hag's gone, I gave this guy four months off to support him. I've been so patient with this guy and this is how he repays me. And I can't see Eric Tenard forgiving him now. Even if Sancho tries, I can't see Tenard forgiving him now. And I think Sancho's career at Man United is done, which is such a shame because, like, for me, when we signed him, he was so promising, but his attitude has been unacceptable. And I think, you know, Tenard can't go in too much in that interview, but I think Tenard really does hint and suggest that he is done with Sancho. Let me know your thoughts on what Tenard said. I think it was pretty br brutal, but I think that's what it was. Smash the like, smash the subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.